For anyone who doesn't know Joe Miller, this is what he does. Wow. Joe Miller. Well, <laughs> if that wasn't enough of a giveaway, world long drive champion, it is great to see you again. And I can tell you, thanks to Flightscope, that was a total distance of 364 yards, Joe. That's not bad. How does that rank in your world? I think we could get more like that, but uh, <laughs> we're, we're into wind a little bit here today, so I'll take that at the moment. OK, well, we are on the range. Yeah. And you are the specialist, of, as we know, in long driving. So I'm hoping you're going to be able to give me and the viewers some tips today on getting a bit more distance. <laughs> so no easy task there, right? But yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. <laughs> OK, sounds good. OK, Joe, first things first, I should probably show you how far I hit the ball. Go for I it. I think I've had a bit of an improvement on my driving recently, so... Since last time. Since last time, yeah. <laughs> OK. Mm. OK, it's not bad. It's not, it's not my finest, but no, what did it say? You've got a bit of a draw. Let's have a look. OK. So a couple of things that I always look at, obviously club speed. So yeah. you're swinging at uh, 86 miles an hour. Okay, your club path is slightly into out, hence the draw. Yeah. Uh, with a club cl uh, closed club face, so again, hence the draw there. Spin rate is 2,400, so that's actually pretty good. And distance, total distance of 191. Okay, so are they do they mill around the average? They, they, that's well. I mean, is that what you'd normally expect? That result. Uh, <laughs> the distance, 191. Yeah, yeah, probably. Okay. A on average. All right. A little well, less, I'd say. We're going to, first of all, we'll work on that club path just to get the ball going a bit straighter. OK. I can see actually the setup's really good. Uh, great setup in terms of op for optimising distance. The only thing from side on, OK, ball position is slightly too far back. OK. Uh, so as a result, you're going to get two type of shots here. You're going to get one uh, that's that snap kind of draw, or you're going to get one that where the club face lines up, but your club path is still going out and it's going to give you a push yeah so that's actually they're, they're two similar shots although they're different results they're actually two quite similar shots and all it is is due to the fact that your ball position is slightly too far back well that's easy to so fix. first things first exactly so we're just going to move it an inch or two forward so in and around where you are there perfect mm -hmm. and what we should see as a result of that is the club path come down closer to zero which is basically means it's going in a straight line as opposed to going uh, to the right or to the left okay so well. if you have a, have a couple of swings there and see how it feels That's the other side of the same shot. That's that you the other, exactly, about, yeah. So they're almost they're almost one and the same. Yeah. All that changes is slightly uh, the club face angle. Right. So actually, your, your club path's now improved. So you're okay. in and around the one or the two mark. Yeah. So basically, what's happening is at the point of strike, the club path is on a zero part or close to a zero path as we can pretty much get it. That's so good. So it's not it's not travelling out and it's not travelling in with yeah. the slice and the fade. We just need to fix that club face problem a little bit. Okay. So one more. That's nice. better. That's nice. Perfect drive. Okay. Let's have a look here. Let's look at the numbers. Okay, so again, so club path that time was two. Right. Right. Again, that's pretty close. Uh, you know, most pros work with two, uh, two degrees either side of that. Yeah. So that's uh, pretty much about right. Your club path is still slightly, your club face, sorry, is still slightly closed. Okay. Hence that slightly low draw. So okay. I want to start opening it up a bit. No, no, keep, keep it as it is. I just want to work that grip's just a little bit too strong for me. Okay. So I want you to set back to a little bit more of a neutral kind of grip yep. at the moment. I mean, I know you've been having the odd lesson here or there. <laughs> just the uh, odd one. Just the odd one. And what's happening at the moment is you've got a very strong grip and it's just twisting the club face shut a little bit. Okay. So I just weaken that grip off slightly. That makes sense. Uh, would you weaken it with your left hand or your right hand? You can grip? do it. For you, I want you to do a little bit of both. So I want the, that left, that left, uh, left thumb yeah. just slightly t closer to the middle. Just slightly. That's it. And then just grip it as you feel comfortable at that point. Okay, so remember you've got your new ball position yeah. and a slightly weaker grip at the moment. Only very slightly. Yeah. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, yeah, nice. Okay, that's better. That is better. Let's, let's, let's have a look. Okay, so club half, 1.5. Okay. Oh, but be, bit better. I mean, 1.5, you can't get much better than that, okay? <laughs> okay. You, you could get 1.5 degrees, but we're not going to worry too much. Yeah. And face to path, okay? So basically what's happening is, is your, is your face square to your path, right? If it's not, then you're going to get a draw or fade or a hook or slice. Yours is 0.2. 
All right, so right. it's perfect. It's, okay. it's literally as square as you can possibly get it. Yeah. So just with them two things there, we've got a better flight. Okay, we've got an increased distance, so we've got 210. Okay, so we've right. added about 15 yards there from, uh, from the average, and now we're getting a full flight going forward as opposed to shaping. Okay, a lot of people always think the draw goes further than the fade and yeah. it goes further than a straight shot. We just want it going in a straight line and, and pretty much they're the numbers right there. So that's actually two really simple things because you haven't changed my swing. No. It's all in the setup. Swing, swing was great, ball was too far back. Okay, yeah. so all, all that was happening is as the club was coming slightly in, he was catching the ball too early on. So it wasn't giving it time to square up. That's all it was. Okay. So it was too far back in the stance. So we just moved it slightly forward onto your left arm. And then we just weakened that grip of ever so slightly. You got, you know, you had a tendency just to grip it a little bit too strong, and it was hood in the face and snapping the uh, snapping the door shut basically. And then you was getting that slight, uh, you know, harsh draw. I'm gonna yeah. say I'm not gonna say snap hook. Yeah, yeah. A little bit of a too much of a draw. So ball position forward, weaken off the grip, and then we got the, the shots going in a straight line. Right, Joe, that is brilliant. I've added 15 yards, and I think that's a really good lesson. You don't have to change your swing. Just look at your setup. Move the ball closer to your left foot, and perhaps weaken or strengthen your grip, depending on how you do it. Okay, so all we did is move the ball forward. That gave the, the club path chance to square up, okay? And then we just weakened off that grip, made the club face uh, square to path, and then we get the ball going straight. Good stuff, very simple. Thank you, Joe. So just to get a bit of extra distance on your ball, you don't even have to change your swing. Just look at your setup, and hopefully that will help.